In a price weighted index, we assume that there will only be one unit of each constituent security. Now, this video, we're going to look at how we recalculate the divisor of a price weighted index after a stock split. Now, say that we have five constituent securities, A, B, C, D, and E, and these are the prices before a split in security B. So we're going to make an assumption that there will be a two for one stock split for security B. Now, before we move on to that, we're going to look at how we calculate the index value of uh, this index right before the split. So in a price weighted index, we just have to total up the price. So if I take 60 plus 24 plus 11 plus 7 and plus 13, I'll get 115. And for the divisor, we will usually take this as the number of constituent securities, uh, which in this case is 5, because we have 5 constituent securities. So if you take 115 divided by 5, that will be equals to 23. This is the index value. If you want to calculate the weight of each security, you will just take the price, divide by the total price, which is 115, times 100%, so that is 52.17%. And for B, that will be 20.87%. For C, that will be 9.57%. D is 6.09%. And E is 11.3%. So that should sum up to 100%. Now, if there is a two-for-one stock split for security B, in other words, one share of B will split and become two units of shares. In other words, the price of security B will halved okay so it will be divided by 2 so we'll take 24 divided by 2 so the price drops to 12 dollars and the rest of the securities will still have the same prices so now the question is how do we recalculate the divisor after this stock split because we can't use 5 anymore so what we'll do is we will still total up so we'll take 60 plus 12 plus 11 plus 7 plus 13 that will give us 103. Now, to, in order to recalculate the divisor, remember that the index value will have to be the same before and after the split because in essence, there is no change in value. There is only a change in terms of the number of shares available. So with this, we can then calculate the divisor. So we'll take 103 divided by 23. So that gives us 4.478. So you will see that the divisor has declined from 5 to 4.478. And if we calculate the weight after the split, so we'll take here 60 divided by 103. So that's 58.25%. Uh, and you can proceed to do the same for the rest. You will get 11.65% for B, 10.68% for C, 6.8% for D, and lastly 12.62% for E and that will total up to 100%.